Hey everyone, welcome to another AJ Re 210 video battle report. We have Tyrannus vs. Grey Nice once again. Now this is the uh, round 3 grudge match. Uh, we're doing 1500 points against my buddy who plays Grey Knights. And let's jump right into it. Here is my Tyrannus army list, bringing something a little different. Lots of Gene Stealers, as you can see. So I'm starting off with the Turvagon as my HQ with Catalyst. Four squads of 10 Gene Stealers, all with Toxin Sacks. I have two Zoanthropes, Poxing as Venomthropes, 10 Yumgarl Gene Stealers, 22 Hormigons with Toxin Sacks, and 3 Hive Guard to give us a little bit of extra anti armor. And uh, this is just a quick look at the board. Um, kind of a cool like jungle setup with a little urban encampment sort of deal. So, trying a little something different. As for the Grey Knights, he's also doing a little something different too. Um, he's doing, let's see here, looks like two Razorbacks with two five man strike squads. A Rhino right there with nine purifiers and an Inquisitor in a Rhino. A ten man strike squad. And yep, the two five mans. A Vindicare Assassin. Two uh, Rifleman Dreadnought with the twin linked guns with Cybolt uh, ammo. Uh, a big guy Dreadnought with an Incinerator. And we're doing a custom mission, D6 objectives, so I'm rolling off here. And we get six objectives, so we're playing with six objectives. Here they are. We got the Guardsman as one objective, the Tau Drone as another. A little corn symbol right there that you can see in the woods. A little Power Fist over there. A little helmet over there, and a banner right there. So they're pretty clumped up over here. And let's do the uh, deployment roll. So what kind of deployment we're doing, and it's regular pitched battle deployment. So we're going to roll off here for turn one and see who gets to go first. So here's my roll. I got a three. I know it's kind of hard to see, but I got a three. He rolls and he gets a six, and he actually ends up letting me go first. So I picked my side, and this is my deployment. Got Gene Stealer right there with the Turbigon nearby, the Hive Guard, and the Venom Thropes to give their cover. A couple of more Gene Stealers, all the uh, Omegons and stuff. And I got one squad of Gene Stealers and the Yumgarls in reserve to uh, pack a little punch later on in the game. Here's Grey Knights, that's a 10-man squad, there's a 5-man squad in Razorback. The Purifiers are right there with the Vindicare and the Rifleman in the cover. The Another 5-man is behind there, uh, behind the Rifleman and the Dread Knight leading the way. So, can the Grey Knights seize the initiative from the Tyranid Swarm? And, oh, no, it is a 2. So, here we go, Tyranids turn 1. So basically I pretty much just moved everything up, spawned a big old thing of Gene Stealer, or uh, Gene Stealer, a big old squad of Termagants. My Hive Guard shot off both of the arms, but uh, didn't do any other damage to him, so he's pretty much neutered right now, which is alright. Otherwise everything else is kind of move up, grab some cover to uh, hide from the onslaught that is the Great Knight shooting phase, and as you can see it did plenty of damage. I lost two of my Hive Guard, good chunk of my Hormagants, all of those Gene Stealers over there, made me roll tons of 4 plus cover saves, wasn't even funny. I think that was it though, so I'm still pretty hardy. It's moving into Tyranid's turn too. See what I can do. Rolling for reserves here. Regular Gene Stealers is no. Nope. Yumgarls, yes. They are coming in. And I had them in the little pond right there. As you can see, I completely wiped out that strike squad. Didn't do a whole lot else. I think everything else just kind of moved up. The Hormagons tried to assault the purifiers and just got absolutely annihilated. It wasn't even fair, but uh, I kind of just used them as a sacrifice unit. Not the best planning on my side, but whatever. Uh, he's kind of moving up, moving up, um, kind of skittering around that area right there, and he's kind of doing his movement right now, and other than that, he just charged into those uh, gaunts with his big guy, and I took one more wound from the Vindicare Assassin on my half guard, but he's still alive, still kicking, so hopefully he can do something before he goes. So Tyranid's turn three, rolling for reserves, and I got it. And uh, as you can't see, but I ended up getting this side of the table. Um, big old cluster of assaults did a lot of damage to me, but I did a lot of damage to him. Got the other Gene Stealers coming in from uh, reserves over there on the left, and the Turbogon managed to immobilize the walker that's in combat, but not kill it yet. So, he managed to finally clean up that assault. He's got two purifiers and his Inquisitor left. I think his Inquisitor lost one wound in that combat. They're still fighting around. There's Venomthorpe still alive, but the Hive Guard is finally dead. And that man, that five man strike squad is moving up to capture that objective, hopefully to hold it till the end of the game. So turn is turn four. Can I hopefully make a push through and at least get a couple objectives? We'll see. Those Gene Steelers finish off the Purifiers, um, and they're holding on to that objective. Those guys still are out of range from that one, and they have that one. Those guys are still shooting. And uh, let's go into Grey Knight's turn four. 
So as you can see, everything fired at those gene stairs. There's one left, or two left, and I pinned them so they get a better cover save. Finally managed to wreck that guy. And now it's just a scramble for the objectives coming to the end of this game here. So let's see what happens. So I kind of made a conga line here to try and get that objective and the tau drone objective. But unfortunately, with all of his shooting, he was able to knock off my two guys up there. And because there's no other way I could stretch it. And he ended up getting all of the wounds on those gene stealers off. So they're off that objective. So as it stands right now, he's got one objective there and one objective there. And I can really only get one objective. So I decide to concede. So it's a tiered loss for this game. It was a great game. It really came down to the wire. Always like those kinds of games. Final score was 2-1. to one. Once again, excellent game. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more tuned in videos coming up.